hi. <laughs> <laughs> you always do a cat now. No, I don't. <laughs> hi, everybody. We are 43 weeks now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is Felix. We had a little boy. I'm sure everyone already knows because we posted a million pictures, a little grump face. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so we went six days past our due date. Five. No, six. Five. Six. Five. Six. Well, okay, I guess we'll go with when he actually came out. Exactly. You went into labor the night before. Yes. So, uh, I went into labor it was Friday night. It was really technically Saturday morning, so it was like one o'clock in the morning, but whatever. Um, so I was in the shower, got a shower. It was like one something and then I started to have contractions um and they were definitely the strongest contractions I have ever had so I was definitely grunting and moaning a bit because they hurt so <laughs> they ran in and came to see me um and he's like all right whatever it's not that big of a deal it was like 114 and then or a little bit before 114 then he, I had another one like what a minute or two later a minute and 40 seconds later. Yeah, like a minute and 40 seconds later. So Jose's like, all right, I'm going to start timing these. He's like, because they kind of are kind of close. Yeah. And, um, hold on. So I was having contractions every two, two minutes. minutes, two to three minutes. Um, they were lasting pretty consistently a minute long. Some of them were a little bit shorter, but... Most of Most them were longer. Them were <laughs> lo like, were a minute or longer. Long story short, she she was in, like, full-blown, like, active labor. Yeah, like... so I had skipped uh, everything. The pre-labor, the transitioning labor, to straight to active labor. Um, so we labored at home for about 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, before Jose called the midwife and was like, look, this is her contraction times are super strong she can't even talk she can't even move like she's shaking because i was shaking in the shower like having like muscle spasms um and so yeah so they said to come to the hospital because it was 20 minutes away because they got there in about 14 minutes <laughs> yeah less because <laughs> um, they were pretty freaking bad uh we oh, got yeah. there and had little felix um it was pretty fast labor thank god uh, we got there at 2.20 a.m. Um, and we were in triage for about 15 minutes the most, not even. Uh, I was four centimeters dilated when we got to the hospital. So we went straight up to the room. Um, was getting poked in every single vein with IVs and yeah, needles. Poor, poor girl was a freaking pin cushion <laughs> by the time they got her I out of there, man. Oh. Black and blue when we came home. Um, was having horrible uh, contractions. Then we got into the tub. Well, I got in the tub. Jose sat on the floor outside of the tub with me, holding my arm with the IV out because I couldn't get it in the water. Um, I was so exhausted at this point. I was literally passing out in between contractions, like literally dead cold out, and then would wake up in <laughs> contraction. Yeah. Uh, so we sat in the tub for about two hours, came out, um, and then I was about seven and a half to eight centimeters dilated. And then at that point when we were getting out, I wanted something for the pain because it was getting so bad. I wanted an IV drop or I wasn't going to get the epidural, but I wanted the IV drop. Um, unfortunately, at that point, it was too late to get anything. Yeah, um, my wife was like, you're too far along. Yeah, I could get the nitrous gas, but we had to wait for the COVID test to come back and it still wasn't back yet. <laughs> so I literally had to just sit there and deal with it. Um, then about an hour goes by, 40 minutes goes by maybe. No, not even. It was probably like 35 minutes okay, on, like between, 35 minutes. between that. <laughs> um, and then finally we came back and said I could have a nitrous gas. So I had the nitrous gas and I, as soon as I got that, I started breathing it. And then I was like, all right, I want to get in my hands and knees, um, to just change positioning. Cause I was getting super uncomfortable or no, we did the yoga ball first, didn't we? Yeah, you, you got on the yoga ball yeah. and that was not working. Yeah, the yoga were... ball made me so uncomfortable. I, was, I literally, I stood up because I couldn't handle my contractions on the yoga ball. Yeah, well, because like, he, he was like, he was pretty much coming at that yeah, point. You I mean, didn't, we didn't know it yet, but he was, he was basically coming at that point. Yeah, I was literally holding onto Jose's neck, like choking him as I was having contractions. 
Yeah. I didn't mean to choke him, but I was just holding up for dear life so I didn't fall on the ground because the yoga ball was not working. Um, so then I got on my knees and hugged the back of the bed, and as soon as that happened, I felt Felix drop down um, and had to push immediately. And so the first contraction, I didn't say anything. I was like, oh, maybe it's just false alarm. So I just didn't say anything. And then the second time it came, I was like, I have to push. <laughs> <laughs> and literally just my body started pushing. And the doctor was like, no, no, don't push yet. Or the midwife was like, don't push yet, don't push yet. <laughs> She had to check me, and then she checked me real quick, and I was 10 centimeters dilated. She's like, go, go, go. She's like, all right, <laughs> go ahead, do your thing. If you feel like you got to push, go ahead and push with your contractions. So I pushed about three or four more times on my knees, and then I was getting uncomfortable, so I laid on my back, um, got me the squat bar and like a tug-of-war sheet set up for me to pull on that. Uh, and then long story short, we pushed for another, what, 40 minutes, not even? No, I would say the whole time you pushed, it was about 40 minutes, about 40 huh? Minutes. So it was very another, quick. Like, 20 or 30 minutes. Yeah. And this little bugger came out and his amniotic sac completely intact. They had to rip it open to get him out, which they said is extremely, extremely rare. They said it's uh, quite special. Some people say it's pretty spiritual if you believe in that stuff. Um, and I mean, we do, so they said it can be kind of very, um, what'd they say? Like, have your... Well, there's a lot of different beliefs. Some people are. believe it means that you, uh, you're going to be watched by an angel. Some people believe it means that you're going to have, like, a sixth sense and be very, uh, in tune with your third eye and, and, you know, be able to see spirits or whatnot. There's, there's a lot, a whole lot of different beliefs yeah. that go along with it. It really depends on what you believe so but yes, it, it is a rare and very special occurrence. It was so cool to see him floating in his <laughs> amniotic sac. It was pretty crazy. It was pretty cool. And they actually gave me a mirror to watch um, him coming out. I could feel if I wanted to, but because he was in the sac, I didn't want to accidentally pop it because I didn't know how fragile it was. Because she warned Jose. She's like, watch out. Yeah, she's like, like, I need to get might, goggles. <laughs> like, might explode and shoot everywhere. So she's like, just watch your face. Um, so I didn't want to touch it because I didn't want to pop it. I didn't know how fragile it was or not. So I just watched, which was pretty cool. It was extremely motivating. Uh, I would highly suggest anyone to watch it because it's pretty cool to see it. And yeah. it's, just, it's motivating to see like what you're doing is actually working. Well, yeah, that's, that's what I felt like. Like when you were pushing, when you were on your knees, you know, it, you couldn't really... Oh, I had no idea what was going on. Yeah, like, we could see. We were like, oh, yeah, we could see you, like, moving him, you know? Yeah. Like, we could tell he was coming. But you, you know, for you, it wasn't, you got a lot more motivated once you got oh, yeah, on your back definitely. and you could see with each push, like how much he was coming out. It was like, you were like, yeah, I got this. <laughs> yeah, so definitely was very motivating. Uh, he came out very quick. Um, I had some postpartum hemorrhaging, so I had to go into OR to get, because some membrane got stuck inside my uterus. Um, so that was not fun. That was absolutely horrible. I actually think that whole part was worse than the birth. Yeah. Um, I, oh was, my gosh. I was laying in stirrups in, in the bed, the delivery room, for about an hour getting stitched up and tortured to death. And then finally they yeah. put me to the OR and drugged me up. Oh, dude. I, it, I was just <laughs> about to say something when the, when the guy finally was like, okay, she's had enough. Let's go get her into the operating room. Because like, I could tell that's why the nurse came up and started talking to me because my face was like... I'm sure, like, my body language was, was starting to become pretty apparent, even though I hadn't said anything, because yeah. my face was like, yo, if y'all don't stop getting hurt in my wife right now, I'm, uh, you know, I was, it was horrible, yeah. I was about to get up and say I something, and I was like, out. yo, uh, can we get this girl some freaking drugs, she got <laughs> the kid out now, you know, you guys are freaking butchering her, get her some freaking drugs, yeah, it was I was about bad. to go pop a bear on her ass, it was dude. very, very bad, um, so finally I got taken to the OR and got a shot in my back to help numb me up and then I actually had to get additional drugs because I still felt some pressure and pain. Um, I was in there for about an hour which was only supposed to be like a 10 minute procedure and it turned into an hour procedure. <laughs> Right. Um, oh, yeah. I was getting scared, man, because you were gone for so long, you know, and, and he hadn't eaten yet, you know, so I'm just like sitting there by myself with the baby and there's no one in the room, you know. Oh, there's no one with you? No, I was alone that whole time, you know, which made it even slower because I'm like worried about you and, and everything. So I'm just like focusing on the baby, bonding with the baby. And then, you know, finally, I like I look up at the clock. It just felt like ages, you know, because I was yeah. alone for so long. I look at the clock and it's like nine o'clock. They took you away at like what? Seven at something? Seven. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
seven or eight o'clock. Yeah, it was like yeah. seven, seven forty. I think I took you away. Yeah, and you were back at like nine thirty. So I was, I was starting to get worried. I was again, I was just about to get up and go walk into the hallway and be like, "Yo, where the f is my wife?" And lo and behold, as I'm like about to stand up out of the chair, I hear the door bust open, and there, there you guys came wheeling in. I was like, "Oh, thank God, she's okay. She's back." Yeah, it yeah. was pretty brutal. So I felt absolutely everything. <laughs> um, yeah, what a warrior, dude! Like, I, I gotta, I gotta give it to you. I cannot believe you did that completely natural, no drugs, like yeah, I mean, I had insane. The, I had the nitrous gas, but. I mean, I really yeah, but don't think that helped. I was just saying, I didn't do shit, bro. You, yeah. you don't don't short yourself. What you did was was miraculous. Me, it definitely, <laughs> like, kind of helped me distract a little bit. Like you said, the placebo effect. But yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I, I didn't really think it did anything. No, no. Um, but yeah, so that happened, and then I got absolutely no sleep for like three days straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was exhausted. So next time, definitely feel not feel like oh my god next time for next kid the baby will be going to the nursery in the hospital and we will be sleeping because we did not take advantage of that because i was like no my baby's staying with me yeah i should i did <laughs> i passed out because i knew what was coming this is this is my freaking this is my second rodeo so i was like yeah i'm gonna get sleep now i tried i passed out right there in the hospital and slept the, yeah, the I whole mean, time i tried to but every time i passed out a nurse came in someone came in right to check on me right Felix, give me medicine check on felix or whatever so yeah and that and that's and the unfortunate thing to eat so yeah i was it was pretty bad. Yeah, because of what happened. They were, it felt like every time this poor girl shut her eyes, somebody walked in the room like, oh, dad, time to stick you with this, or time to give you this, or time to do that. You know, it's like, Jesus Christ, let her sleep, yeah, man. Yeah, So then we came home. So he was sleeping great in the hospital. Um, I was like, oh, my God, thank God he'll be sleeping all the time. But nope, only three <laughs> uh, Wishful first, thinking. First five days was absolutely torturous it was absolutely horrible he would only sleep for 15 20 minutes not being held he had to be held um to sleep so i literally would stay up as long as i could and then once i felt like i was falling asleep with him in my arms like i had to wake up jose and be like babe you need to take him like i'm gonna go crazy <laughs> so then he came down to the basement and just paced with him for a few hours to let me sleep and then i would just take naps throughout the day when he would sleep Holy shit, I would literally just hold him like this, and I would just go like this for hours. <laughs> just, okay, Felix, okay, Felix. And he would sleep as long as I was moving and walking. Yeah, that was you know, but the second I would stop, he'd wake up and start, uh, uh, you know, oh, it was, it was rough. It was a rough couple it days, was really man. Bad. I mean, it's still definitely rough now, but I will definitely take two hours of sleep over 15, 20 minutes of sleep. <laughs> we're getting better we're starting to figure things out and you know because yeah, I, mean, yeah. I mean I, I haven't done the newborn phase since my daughter you know she'll be 10 in april so it's you know it's like a decade ago when i did all that so it's it's kind of like relearning yeah you know, i still know a lot of tricks and stuff i think i've done pretty good supporting you so far yeah no you definitely but have. i mean every baby is different and it, it's it has been it has been a journey and it we're learning and growing yeah. together this so, girl is a natural. She is freaking natural. Yeah. Super mom right here, guys. I'm trying. Oh, you, you're you winning, hon. Last hun. night I thought I was losing. <laughs> no, no. Oh, like, baby, please take him before I cry. <laughs> yeah, baby, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here to help. <laughs> but yeah, um, so we're taking day by day. We got professional pictures done today. He's two weeks and one day old today. Um... I'm still pretty sore, but I had tearing, so that is normal. Um, but yeah, I mean, taking it day by day. He's doing good. He's healthy. He's getting two ounces of weight a day, uh, according to the doctor. I don't know what it is now, but I'm, he looks like he's still growing. He's eating plenty. It's um, huge plenty. compared to what he was. Yeah, so he's definitely getting his nutrition which is really good i'm really happy that i'm not having any breastfeeding problems um hopefully nothing comes up but it's been pretty great he latched immediately the first time he laid on they laid him on me to feed mm -hmm. so it's been good look at wait look at him with his little arm on his face <laughs> <laughs> so cute all right
But he oh has little God. strawberry blonde hair, so we'll right? see what it turns into, because it could be absolutely anything. It's kind of hard to tell on the camera, but it is. It's, it's like strawberry blonde. She calls him uh, her little ginger. <laughs> and then his eyes are still the baby blue-gray eyes, so we'll see what that is. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's pretty much it. Feeling good. Jose's feeling good. Ugh, not looking good. But yeah, I feel good. I'm gonna say, I <laughs> don't look good either. Oh my good. god, please. You know what? Stand up. Stand up. Okay. This this girl here. I'll help you. <laughs> this girl had a baby two weeks ago. Spin around. Look at this. This is it's ridiculous. So <laughs> Look, the, two two weeks ago, she just gave birth to that. Her little peanut. <laughs> and she's over there bashing herself oh, about her, her postpartum body. I'm like, girl, you look better than some people that... I had one stretch mark. It's right. On my, it's on my belly button where it was pierced right there. <laughs> <laughs> little tiny bump right there. That's right. It. You look so that's, a phenomenal. I'm really happy about that, thank God. But yeah, now everything else is good. So this is our update video. I know it's pretty long, um, but if you made it this far, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you to everyone for their support and all the gifts and love that I have uh, been receiving for Felix ever since we brought him home. Um, we love you guys and we'll keep you updated. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>